Welcome to our five on five. Please be joined today by Alea Katani, the founder of Keeping All Women Safe or Cause. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. So, uh, or, excuse me, keeping Ashland women safe, I, I guess, as you said, it's, it's kind It's primarily of... keeping Ashland women safe. It's intended to be a template or a prototype for anyone who wants to create a task force like this. It also stands for keeping all women safe. Okay, and, and so you founded it, as I said. Uh, mm -hmm. to, how, did this, how did this task force come about? I've been a career social worker for about 30 years, as well as a private practice therapist, which is uh, what I do primarily now um, before founding the task force, which takes a tremendous amount of, of time and energy. And so I was aware of the violence against women in Ashland that is often undercover uh, for many years. And uh, the, the rates of women reporting sexual assault is only one in 10 statewide. And there's, mm. there's good reasons for that. There's valid reasons of that, for that. But then in December, uh, last December, a man came into one of the uh, nicest Ashland restaurants and sexually assaulted a female employee in that restaurant. And the owner started posting the surveillance photos on Facebook to see if anyone recognized him. At that point, I started sharing those photos, and within moments, I started getting private messages from multiple women wanting to send me pictures of the guy who raped them, or the guy who's been stalking them, or the predator who's been menacing them, or tried to lure their teen into the car. And this was such an enormous feedback that I decided, that's it, I need to do something. Wow. And began to gather uh, key citizens, concerned and influential people uh, that I was aware of through my career and many years in the Valley. And we set about to uh, do something about this. Wow, okay. Um, without jeopardizing confidentiality of anyone, of course, what kind of feedback are you getting uh, out in the community and from law enforcement? We're getting tremendous feedback. It started out slowly like most organizations do. However, it's been rapidly gaining momentum. Uh, immediately, we met with uh, Chief O'Meara um, with the police department to ask for collaboration, which he um, wholeheartedly agreed with. I have uh, numerous ongoing conversations with him and also his lieutenant. Um, and we've collaborated on a lot of projects so far in regard to increasing awareness, information out to the community and to women who are reporting. We put out a survey uh, asking women where there are physical locations that feel threatening, unsafe to them. And, and Chief Ty and I spoke about that and he's doing something about that. And, um, and the community itself is increasing in awareness of our presence. I receive um, consistent messages and um, contacts, emails from women since the day that this began. It mm -hmm. continues um, from women who are experiencing all types of things, wow. uh, from you know serial date rapists to um, everything, uh, mm -hmm. sex, everything, and uh, so there's also key organizations that are collaborating with us. Um, Jackson County Sexual Assault Response Team, Community Works Advocacy, Peace House, um, and more. Okay. And All right. so, yeah, um, interest from the Ashland Association of University Women, SOU, a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's a big issue. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Alea Katani, the founder of Keeping Ashland Women Safe or Cause. Uh, you guys have an event in a couple days on Thursday. Is everyone we do. welcome? Everyone is welcome. We encourage all women and men throughout the Valley. And this event is to uh, continue to increase awareness and education about the issues. But primarily, we're going to take a deep dive into the many uh, prongs of the um, present problem of violence against women, surprisingly to many people in Ashland, and cover all the different programming, lack of reporting, consent that's needed. It's at Love Revolution at 383 North Main in Ashland, 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. It is an adult event, so teens, mature teens with adult um, accompany, accompanying them mm -hmm. are welcome, and Come. definitely we encourage women and men to attend. We also hope to gain volunteers at that event. We need fundraisers and grant writers, a couple more board of directors, and uh, um, just volunteers who are passionate about uh, 
the cause. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Appreciate you taking the time. Great to meet you. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.